the banks are not stupid. They have 60 billion plus of their money in government bonds. The insurance companies has 10 billion plus of their money in government bonds. The two put together is 70 billion. On average, they will be earning 20% coupon for the year 2023. This 20% coupon of 70 billion translates to about 14 billion Ghana cities that they will lose in the year 2023. If you put their profitability for the year 2023 together, they will not even get 50% of this as profitability. So what will happen to them? The banks will collapse. In fact, I project a minimum of five banks collapsing if this goes, on, goes ahead. Not only that, a number of banks will have to lay off staff and close some branches. That's the picture the minority has painted if government goes ahead with a debt exchange program involving individual bondholders. Government is before the IMF seeking a $3 billion bailout with conditionalities that are biting enough to impose hardships on Ghanaians. For the minority, the program would encounter problems. Raking in the banks and insurance company will probably fail. In a bid to meet the IMF conditionality that this government has embarked on a debt restructuring program, dubbed the Debt Exchange Program, to bring our debt to sustainable levels. But they've lost their way, they've lost their way, and we simply don't see how they will provide answers to this. They are claiming their demands to the president. Instead of telling Ghanaians that they have suspended the debt exchange, they are announcing a second extension to 31st January. It will help them. Let them be told that it will help them. They should suspend it, thoroughly engage and consult, call an emergency economic crisis forum, bring together heads and experts in economic management. The consequences ahead of Ghana is die. Should we fail to get the executive approval of the IMF between April and June? Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Parliament House, Accra.